when we were studying perfect competition, marginal revenue was the same as price. And of course, it only made sense that price was greater than or equal to zero. But with imperfect competition, the marginal revenue curve is is not horizontal. We we drew an example in the last video where marginal revenue had a kind of weird shape, and it turns out marginal revenue can even be negative. So we want to investigate in this video when marginal revenue is positive and when it's negative. And it turns out that that has something to do with a concept that we learned in consumer theory, namely the elasticity of the demand curve. Suppose that the demand curve is elastic. Now, the distinction between elastic and inelastic is completely unimportant in perfect competition, because in perfect competition, the demand curve is just horizontal. But now we're dealing with imperfect competition. That's what this video is going to be about. You'll recall that the definition of elasticity was the percent change in the quantity demanded of x divided by the percent change in the price of x was less than minus 1. So it was a really negative number. So when price changes a little bit, the quantity demanded of x changes a lot. Let's suppose the price goes down and see what the consequences are. We're going to completely forget about given goods, so quantity is going to go up. But by how much is quantity going to go up, qualitatively? Well, if demand is elastic, quantity is demanded is really sensitive to price. So when price goes down, quantity is going to go up a lot. So I put a big arrow there to denote a large increase in quantity demanded when the price falls. What implication does that have to, for total revenue? Well, total revenue is price times quantity. So we have price decreasing and quantity increasing a lot in, be in response. The combination of those two things, price decreasing but quantity increasing a lot, is going to mean that the increase in quantity is going to overwhelm the decrease in price. And total revenue as a whole is going to go up. What does that imply for marginal revenue? Marginal revenue is the change in total revenue divided by the change in quantity. Now, the change in quantity here is positive because pri price has gone down and so quantity has gone up. The change in total revenue is positive. So delta TR is positive. Positive divided by positive is a positive, and so marginal revenue is greater than zero. So we have our first conclusion, which is the following. Marginal revenue is positive when the demand curve is elastic. Now let's see if this is if really the notion of elasticity is what determines the sign of the marginal revenue curve. So now let's consider the case when the demand curve is inelastic. That means that the percent change in the quantity demanded of x divided by the percent change in the price of x is between negative 1 and 0. Suppose price falls. Let's see what happens. Well, the quantity demanded is going to rise, but by how much? Intuitively, when demand is inelastic, quantity demanded is not very sensitive to price. So when price falls, quantity demanded is going to go up, but not by very much. So I'll indicate that by a small upper arrow. It goes up, but not by very much. What happens to total revenue? Total revenue is price times quantity. Price has gone down. Quantity in response has gone up, 
but by not very much. It's a small arrow. So overall, the decrease in price is going to overwhelm the increase in quantity, and you're going to get a decrease in total revenue. What happens to marginal revenue? Marginal revenue is defined to be the change in total revenue divided by the change in quantity. Quantity has gone up. Not by much, but it's gone up. So the change in quantity is positive. Total revenue has gone down. So the change in total revenue is negative. A negative divided by a positive is a negative. So the conclusion we come to is that marginal revenue is negative when demand is inelastic. Now, the derivation that I've just shown has been qualitative. I haven't actually proved it with using mathematics because that would require more math than I want to get into. But the conclusion is correct that when the marginal revenue curve is positive, that corresponds to the demand, the portion of the demand curve where the demand curve is elastic. And if you happen to have negative marginal revenue, that corresponds to the portion of the demand curve where it's inelastic. Now, any particular demand curve might be always elastic or always inelastic or sometimes elastic and sometimes inelastic. And the marginal revenue will change correspondingly to that.